LaHonta Gold currently has three projects in Nevada, gold and silver mines. And with me, uh, the CEO and founder, Kimberly Ann, to talk about this. And um, let's just start with an overview of the company. So we mentioned your projects in Nevada. Tell me yes. a little bit more about LaHonta. Thank you, Jane. I'm very happy to be here, by the way. Um, yes, yeah, so we have three assets uh, in the Walker Lane of Nevada, Tier 1 jurisdiction, uh, two past producers, and our third one is a silver project that is more of a greenfield project. But the Santa Fe project is our flagship asset. It was mined from 1988 to 1992. Our goal right now is to fast track that back towards production, make a product production decision next year. Um, our second asset is a high grade gold and silver vein system, which is also a very exciting project. It's never been in the public domain. It's been in my private company before it has um, been in the public domain. So this is a really exciting part of the story as well. Yeah, and we've talked to a lot of CEOs and founders here in mining companies, all kinds of different industries. Not a lot of mining female CEOs. So tell me your background. How did you yes, come to find this? Very company? interesting question. Um, I invested in a mining stock and made it tenfold in four months and uh, took a deep dive and thought, <laughs> hey, I like making money, one, but I really like making it um, influence in any industry I work with. You know, how can I? Be impactful and I looked at the market and I saw that window of not enough women CEOs, not enough uh, responsible uh, business people in the industry that know how to lead companies. I've always believed that it doesn't matter what kind of business you're doing, as long as you can lead a team and surround yourself with experts, you can be very successful. And that's what I've done. Yeah. Now, this is a really interesting time for the mining industry. I mean, metals have been strong this year. Gold's been strong. Of course, we've got all the electric vehicles, stuff with lithium and everything. I mean, yeah. tell me a little bit about, about the project you're working on and um, why is this, you know, kind of this precious metal market so hot right now? Yeah, well, uh, it's a really exciting time to be in the space because all metal are cr cr uh, critical metals. It's not just lithium. Um, I mean, across the board, uh, scientists are, you know, in the kitchen cooking, trying to figure out the next and next uh, recipe to put together to build the next car to see um, how that's going to play out. Because at the end of the day, we don't have enough lithium, we don't have enough cobalt, we don't have all um, the products that we need to build these cars for the rest of time right now. Um, our politicians are telling the world that we're going to be able to be all electric by 2035 and I wish that could be true but I don't think it's sustainable but on our side you know we are all trying to push projects forward as quick as possible because we know how important this mandate is. Yeah. So yeah I mean it's a great time to invest in in this space. Um, I think gold specifically is um, always going to be a safe haven no matter what you think of any metal in the market. I mean people like gold like to wear gold, I mean, when you think of India and just around the world, but we also need it in every device we own. And I'm sure it's hard to get investors if you've got that long of a time it is. line as well. It is, and, and so you're always thinking of, okay, what's next for the company that we can do, whether it's a, another project that we can bring into the mix that we can drill on in an easier jurisdiction, and that's why I say I giggle when I'm in Nevada, because not only is our Santa Fe asset a past producer, but it's a mine under closure, so we that means we do environmental studies quarterly so we think we can fast track it back into production when we make that decision um, you know we have access to two wells of water infrastructure on our property we don't have any um, villages or people that we need to make sure you know that they're on side with us so we are extremely fortunate in a great jurisdiction yeah so what would you like people to remember about you and, and mining in general and Lahontan Gold in particular thank you um, yeah it's a great question I want everybody to remember how critical mining is for uh, what our mission of life is going forward um, on a global basis. Uh, I think at Lahont Gold we're in a unique position to uh, fast track this and uh, really get this back in production in a five plus year timeline. I think we will be pouring gold and silver. So that's an exciting thing. But also we're just responsible uh, mining team trying to help, help this uh, big mission and uh, that's what we're gonna do. Okay, thank you so much, Kimberly Ann. Thank you for Thanks. having me. Uh -huh.